Hello, uh, my name is Kelvin Onkunde. I'm a software engineer with a company called Trigger Foods. That our focus is basically uh, demystifying the food supply chain network in Africa and building sustainable cities. And today we shall be talking about Expo in startups. So how do you build with Expo um, in a fast set, uh, in a fast paced startup that features need to be rolled out uh, very frequently? And also, why is Expo a good choice? So that is what we shall be talking about. Um, so what is uh, Expo? So Expo is a tool chain that is based um, on React Native. I already assume that most people in this conference, of course, understand what uh, Expo is. But because this talk is going to be shared online, I'm going to go ahead and like uh, start from even the definition of Expo. So it helps you move, build and ship applications quickly and easily by providing you with um, a tool with tools that aid um, in your development. So Expo comes with a lot of um, things that I call goodies which you are going to be exploring um, that enable your team to more focus on the most important part uh, of your business, which is your customers and the product itself. Yeah. So the question now becomes why use Expo, for instance, if you're building a startup? So the first thing is uh, when you use Expo, there's minimal native mobile coding that is required. So Expo Mov, um, is a wrapper around React Native. So what that means is that you are front-end engineers can easily become um, your mobile or like hybrid um, software engineers. Um, Any time that you call them, it's okay. So um, your, your, your front-end engineers with a very good understanding of React can start interacting with Expo and build mobile experiences for your customers. So at the, at, when starting out, the, you really don't need to understand like how native works. You don't need to understand a lot of these um, Android manifest, uh, build.gradle file, info.plist. Of course, as time goes by, um, as an engineer, obviously out of curiosity, you'll start to move, start understanding what they do. But the good thing is you are able to move bootstrap a world-class application without necessarily having to struggle with all these uh, native specific um, terms or functionalities. I always say that Expo is the perfect definition of build once, deploy everywhere. So that is as, as you're going to see as the talk progresses. So another thing also is Expo has a very good uh, developer experience. So we're going to start with the Expo Go, Expo Go mobile application, which is all you need to test and develop your applications. So I want you to imagine um, maybe you're building, let's say, a good store application and you want to roll it on both Android and iOS. So if you're doing it, uh, for instance, using the bare React Native workflow, you'll have to run your application uh, on a Mac for you to be able to test it on um, an iOS uh, phone. Or maybe another thing is you'll have to, to run Android Studio. So if, if you have especially worked with Android Studio, you know um, the performance implications uh, that it comes with in terms of uh, like the RAM consumption and everything. So with Expo, you get provided with an application that you can test your application um, that you're building on both Android and, and iOS uh, with ease. So you basically don't need Xcode or Android Studio to test your application, just your phone, Play Store or App Store to download the application. So with this, developers become more effective as they save time um, and computing resources that they can dedicate to something else, maybe opening a lot of Stack Overflow tabs or something so that uh, they can uh, provide a good experience uh, to your customers. Um, another thing also, as we're going to explore as this talk progresses, um, Expo also provides a very good uh, CI, CD platform that you can build um, around. So Expo comes with ES that we're going to explore towards the end of the talk, uh, which stands for Expo Application Service. And because ES is hosted, it means that as a developer, you can basically run your application on any machine that has Expo CLI uh, installed. So with this, uh, it means that you can even automate um, everything that you basically do. If you want to distribute your app internally, 
you can be able to set up that uh, automation to build and maybe uh, send your application to test flight or something. Uh, the same thing if you want to do a production deployment. So that is another advantage uh, that comes with Expo. So all this is going to save a lot of time in building bundles, configuring them, and having to like upload them manually to the stores using transporter and everything. So this really saves a lot of time and just ensures that um, you are efficient and of course save 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 your development time. Yeah. So. We also have uh, over the air updates. So this is one of the challenges um, that I can say, especially if you want to roll out features or like bug fixes very fast that you're going to be facing if you're trying to build an application. Sometimes Apple might take up to two days to approve your updates. And if it's a weekend, you might have to wait up to Monday. I've had that experience before. So Android is a bit fast or the guys from Google, so they take up to like one day max. But then this is a lot of time. So you can imagine maybe if we have a breaking change um, on the login page that users are not being, that, that, that users are not able to log in. So this means that your users will be locked out of the application for let's say a weekend or something as you wait for approval to happen. So with um, Expo, you are able to deliver over the air updates uh, by building bundles and just sending them uh, to the various users' devices. And you can be able to publish and roll them out as you await um, App Store or like Play Store approval. So this is very crucial, I can say, because it also means that additionally, you can even roll out a new uh, feature and as long as um, there is no more of like any native um, code behind it you can just you know like push it out to your customers and they'll be having that before maybe um, an approval from the stores comes in so another thing also Expo provides an integrated access to the native um, API so this means that uh, you get access to all this is just an example of the feature that you get access to the camera the file system the location social authentication and my favorite being uh, push notifications so with this it's easier for developers to add um, these native features to the application without really a lot of struggle just writing you know normal javascript typescript um, and within minutes features are rolled out yep so now we're going to shift to the second part of the talk which is expo application services so expo so we're going to maybe start by defining what es is so the deeply integrated cloud services for expo and react native um, that are provided from the expo teams so they provide the following workflows so we have es build es submit and now we have um, es update so what does this mean? So I'm just going to show you an example. Remember, just a while ago, we talked about how you will be with um, Expo application services as a developer, you can be able to move as long as um, you um, maybe let's say environment runs Expo CLI, you will be able to build and distribute an Expo application. So we're going to see how that exactly works out. So ES Build is a hosted uh, service to build app binaries for your Expo and React Native applications. Um, so it provides workflows that works well and handles issues such as like app signing, which is one of the things that um, I think might be a bit confusing at first. And also another thing is uh, with uh, build profiles, you can be able to share your builds internally for testing with a lot of ease. So yeah. So um, this is just an example of a build uh, that we internally, like we're using CI CD with GitHub Actions. Uh, so this is just an example of a build that we've been able to submit to the App Store. So I've um, removed the sensitive uh, parts, which is our team ID and everything. But then uh, you can be able to see, um, like this is an example of how you can run um, a GitHub Action uh, or github actions on your project so that they can be able to build and publish applications uh, to the app store so this is um, es build 
uh, which basically builds your applications, then now it's up to you to distribute. But then we have ES submit uh, to our being our savior here. So with ES submit, it's hosted service again that can be used for uploading and submitting your app binaries uh, to the App Store or like the Google Play Store. So with the yes submit, as I had said earlier, we can wire up um, CI/CD as shown in the screenshot to submit your application um, to the App Store. So what this means is that you remove all the manual work that is needed for your engineers to be able to build and submit apps to the Play Store, as simple as that. So that basically marks more of the end of this talk uh, covering Expo um, and some of its thing, uh, some of the amazing thing that it comes with. But uh, in terms of takeaways, so um, one thing is um, as a, in a startup setting, Expo is going to enable you to build and iterate uh, easily. Your developers are also powered with tools to enable them to be productive and ship features um, fast. ES is a game changer, as I can say. You can automate all your workflows, uh, saving time and reducing submission-related errors um, and bugs. So another thing, Expo is also easy to learn, uh, meaning that your developers can get started easily with the many native features that are provided and you'll be able to maintain one team that develops for both Android and iOS and ships features in time and quality work, as I can say. Um, yeah, thank you.